We'll start off with the, the three injured defenders, Joe Walsh, Alan Jackson and, and Cohen Bramwell. Where are they? Um, <clears throat> well, Adam and um, Joe are still struggling. Um, as in when they, they return, so whether that's going to be Tuesday next week, we've got no idea at the minute. It's a little bit frustrating. Um, Cohen, um, Cohen's available for tomorrow. That's at least some kind of boost, isn't it? Because it has been a, a defence which had to be a makeshift one at times in the last couple of games. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, the lads have come in, they've done well, they've stood, stood the test of time, so to speak, over the last uh, two weeks or so, over the four games, and uh, they've done it manfully. But obviously, the more options that we've got and the more experience that we've got back there, certainly as the games um, get sort of bigger and more competitive and certainly more pressure on them, then obviously we want to have as many available as we possibly can. Success at the start of the season was based on clean sheets. You've had three on the bounce now in, in the league as, as well. What do you put down that, that return to clean sheets? What do you put that down to? Um, it's difficult, really. I mean, obviously, we spoke about it, um, so we made the players aware of that. Um, maybe because um, the actual situation, possibly. The fact that, obviously, you know, um, it's not that we went into the Blackpool game with, I don't know, 20 games left, 25 games left, we're halfway through. Um, it's not, you know, we're at the business end of the season. That was mentioned quite a bit. Um, we didn't want to throw away all the hard work that had done in previous. And it was almost reminding them the reason why we put ourselves in a position where we had a chance or half a chance. And, and it's still, that's still the case at the minute. There's still a job to do. Um, to, to, to make sure we finish in that top six and maybe that just highlighted and heightened the senses and you know made people aware that actually you know we need to step up a little bit and, and, and get back to what we were doing. Hull with the chance to, to gain promotion tomorrow how much of a, a motivation is it for you and your players to stop that happening on your own turf? It'd be more of a motivation if our fans were there you know, I mean, as I've said it many times, Rob, this year, like that type of everything that goes with the game a little bit, just it's not the same. And um, listen, of course, is the motivation. We don't want anyone to have that type of um, enjoyment, you know, at our own ground. But um, it, it is very much just focus on the game rather than what, what happens if we don't win the game. It's like literally... If we can pick up the three points, it's the three points closer to, to what we want and uh, what we want to achieve. And um, we know it's going to be a really difficult game because the reality is we're, we're playing the side that, you know, regardless of what happens tomorrow, I, I generally think we're going to be playing the side that will win the league. Um, so uh, that's how difficult a task it is going to be. We've had two very, very difficult games against them. We've got a lot of pl good players, big squad. Um, expectations on them so yeah it should be a good game It sounds a silly question as you say with them possibly winning the title but it's been a very strange season have they been the best side you've played or just the most consistent side do you think in League 1? Yeah I mean we've, we've had we've had quite a few good performances against us from sides um, and, that, and that's you know that, that's it's a difficult question to answer in terms of like say like you know we've had some performance against us where you go like, oh, they're a good side, they played well and then they might have lost in the next four games, you know, they might have just played well in that game but I think they've definitely been the most consistent side and obviously, like I say, they, you know, I don't have to spell it out, they've got a very big squad and a very healthy budget as we know but the reality is you've got to use that to your advantage and you've still got to go and, and do the business and obviously that's, that's what they have done. Um, they've got a, um, a group of sort of players who clearly motivated to make sure they um, go straight back up into the championship because obviously there's quite a few of the players who come down from the championship last year and that would have hurt them and probably give them that extra motivation that they needed this season. I know you say you're concentrating on, on yourself, but tomorrow Peterborough have a very difficult game. Obviously the gap has closed in, in recent weeks. Are you still looking at that second automatic spot and thinking we've got a chance? Not at this moment in time, that, that is genuine. Um, the only time I'd ever think of looking about looking at that is when we play them a week, week today, a week, week tomorrow. Um, listen, if that gap's a little bit closer, 
uh, and then there's still a chance, then that's something that we might look at to just, you know, put a little bit of pressure on them. But as it stands at this moment in time, the last thing on my mind is is finishing in the top two. The most single, most important thing is just making sure we we equate enough points to make sure we finish in the top six. And with that, obviously, at this point of the season, results can define whether a team goes up a bit like Hull tomorrow. They could go up without winning, potentially. Do you keep an eye on what happens in other games to to decide what to do in your game, for example? Probably not tomorrow. I I get that. I understand it sometimes. You know, I've I've been in this situation before. Uh, I remember at Oxford when when we got promoted. Um, we were aware of what's going on elsewhere, but we knew that if we took care of our own game, that there won't be an issue, and, and that's what we did. So, um, yeah, it, tomorrow's about just trying to get another positive result. You know, as you probably know now, you know we, we will go all out for the three points. If we can't get them, and, and it's a point, great, we move on to the next game. But so many, many times, and the players have alluded to it as well, and they've been quite good because they kept it in house. We know exactly the amount of points that we need to guarantee as a place in that top six and hopefully in the next uh, two games we, we can get to that tally. Is George Grant a possibility to start tomorrow? Yeah, he's a possibility. Um, he didn't train yesterday. The ankle was a little bit puffy, um, but I had a little chat with him. He, he thinks he'll be okay. It was just more precaution uh, than anything else. Um, so... You know, I, I don't see him sort of finishing the game if he starts it. Um, we're gonna have to limit his minutes. Um, but yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully he can train today and he can get a few a few more minutes under his belt. And Tom Hopper and Liam Bridcut finally, how close are they? Very close. I mean, there's a temptation to involve them tomorrow. They've trained a few days now. Um, had a couple of training sessions with the team, so. Uh, although there's a temptation there to, to involve them also, I'm realistic to know that um, there's some other big games coming up and it's not just about tomorrow. Um, so we'll weigh that up, we'll have a conversation with them and um, you know, try and make a sensible decision.